Welcome to another episode of Game Dev Weekly. If you're new here and working on Hydroneer, a mining game where you dig for gold and other resources to build massive mining machines. If you want to check out Hydroneer, check out the Patreon link below. You can play the game now for a minimum of $2, or alternatively, add it to your wish list on Steam. So the next few Game Dev Weekly episodes are going to be a little bit different. Uh, what I want to do is revisit every single part of the game and add quality of life features, uh, remove them some things and add some new things. The game can be split into three sections, the learning and manual stage, uh, the second stage which is building and automation, and then the third stage which is about rigs and major operations. So each week I'm going to be kind of making my way through from the very start of the game all the way to the end. So in the end the game will be completely brushed over to have a new quality of life throughout the entire thing. So I'll probably mention this a bit in the future as well, but the first stage will be about making things a lot easier to understand and making nicer mechanics to use. The second stage will actually be focused on the building and automation, using pipes and how those works, creating conveyor belts, and moving dirt around your base. Third stage is about the rig system, and the current one that I have right now, I'm not a big fan of it. I want to go over that and build a completely new, different system from the ground up. So this is what I've been up to this week. So it's Monday today, I just put out the video, and right now I'm going to start working on some of these fixes that I found in the last video. The first one I wanted to look at today was the store. Um, so first off I want to just improve the lighting because right now it's a bit glowy and weird. I think what I'm going to have is torches and actual physical light instead of just this kind of fake light inside here. But the first thing I'm going to get to right now is changing these tooltips that you've got right here. So you can see whenever I look at an item it tells me how much that item is. Uh, but it doesn't tell me anything about the item and I think it'll be really nice for newer players so then they can actually understand which what each item is actually for uh, especially when it comes to pipes um, you know like you wouldn't necessarily know what this is and unless I told you what it was so that's what I'm gonna work on first so I just made some quick changes um, I had to label every single object uh, with a name and a description as well uh, I kept the price in there obviously because that's quite useful uh, and I think it's come out pretty nice. Each description goes to about three lines. Yeah, I also off-centered it as well. I, I thought it kind of looked a bit weird when the text was directly just below the crosshair. So next thing I want to work on today is actually suggested from some patrons. And this is because when you come to pick items up in the pan, for example, some of these gems at the start are actually quite small and they're quite hard to pick up. Sometimes you can accidentally pick up the pan because there isn't any middle point in the uh, crosshair. So something that I want to add is a outline. So when you're actually looking at some of these, you'll add an outline to the model. So then you know exactly what you're going to be picking up. Okay, so I've done a bit of code. Uh, it's something that I'm really, really familiar with. So it didn't take too long at all. It's basically when um, I pick up this item, then it should highlight. I know this isn't exactly how I want it to be. Obviously I want it to be when you look at the item, it highlights. But for a quick test, I just wanted to throw this in some code to make it a little bit easy, make sure everything works right. Uh, so when I pick up this, it should highlight, uh, and there we go. So you can see it's got this orange highlight glow around it. I thought orange is a nice color. Uh, previously, I've tried, you know, red and white. I don't think white really works too well with the snow, and red just looks a bit too glarish. I think orange kind of works quite nice, um, especially with these uh, kind of browner colors. So what I'm going to do now is uh, add the system that uh, changes it. So when you're actually looking at the items, uh, it'll highlight it. And uh, when you stop looking at it, it'll unhighlight. So the new item highlighting system is really great. Um, I've noticed while I've been playing and testing out other things that it actually makes it a lot quicker to play the game. Um, you, you automatically know exactly what you're picking up, so you pick them up a little bit faster. Uh, I think it's a great improvement. So what I've been working on next is a, another Patreon request. Uh, this has been a big one and something that I've kind of been debating for a while. And it's the ability to be able to tip out a bucket. So let's say you put some of your resources into this bucket after digging them up, and then maybe you want to pour them into a different bucket. Well, um, this system will allow that to happen. But the first thing I had to create was a system that makes dirt into a little bit of something else. So if I take my shovel here, and I dig up just a mound of dirt, and I put it in here, uh, it fills it up like normal. Um, I've actually changed the values now, so you can only fill this bucket up instead of 10 times, you only fill it up four times, but it uh, gives you less dirt in the end. Um, I'll explain a little bit later on how that actually affects the game. Uh, it sounds like a really bad move, but it actually is a nice bit of balancing. I've kind of changed things in other areas, so it doesn't actually slow down gameplay. So now we've got our bucket. I'm just going to tip it out as we usually do. 
And right now it's giving me a clump of dirt. Uh, I can put that clump of dirt back into the bucket if I want, um, or just leave it straight out. So what I'm gonna do is actually dig up another one. So now I've got two clumps of dirt. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is if I drop this one on top of this one, they'll actually combine to make one. Uh, and I can do it a few more times. Um, Grab some more dirt. So basically, uh, later on in the game, when we add in more kind of like conveyor belt systems and machines, I wanted the actual dirt to be like a resource that you can actually pick up with your own hands and kind of work with it a bit more and combine it and move it around. So yeah, it's got a bit of weight to it. Um, I did some tests earlier where I got a really big clump and, and uh, rolled it down the hill. Uh, over here, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this new system I might change these textures a bit so they kind of fit with the dirt a bit more um, And also maybe even include a system where you can kind of place it back into the ground So it'll actually create terrain again So I might come back to that later as I do with uh, a lot of things that I make on video uh, So what I'm gonna do here is drop it into the pan and you can see now we've got some dirt and some water in there I'm gonna give it a scrub down and grab some of our resources. All right, so highlighting, you can see here that highlighting becomes a lot easier. Now I can actually kind of see a bit more if I'm highlighting the pan or the objects. So I'm just gonna quickly pick all these up. Okay, so I got my bucket full of gems right here. Pick that up. And now what I can do is pour out the gems. Now what I wanted to do was not make the system super accurate. Um, so it's not like a case of you just pour it out and everything goes exactly in there. There's a little bit of fall off sometimes. There we go. So I threw them all in the pan. You gotta be a little bit careful with it. Um, it's a pretty easy system to use just to tip the bucket out like this. And I'm pretty happy with how that's going on. So that was just another uh, Patreon request that I kind of looked into, decided if it'll fit into the actual game design because that's actually very important. And I think it came out well. So that's going to do it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. And as usual, a massive thanks to my Patreons. If you'd like to become one or maybe just add the game to your wish list, then the links are all in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.